Healthy Minds Canada is celebrating its annual Silver Dinner tonight in Toronto. Now in its 11th year, the event aims to promote mental health research and education. This year's keynote speakers are husband and wife Billy Baldwin and Shina Phillips. The couple is joining me now from the newly renovated Bellwood Health Services and Waterstone Clinic in Toronto. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Good morning, Marcia. Thanks for having us. Yeah, excited to be here. Billy, what are you hoping this event will accomplish? Well, I, I think that people are much more comfortable today talking about these issues, addiction, mental health issues. They've become more and more comfortable with it over the last 20 or 30 years, but there's still a problem with getting the care that you need. There's a lot of problems with getting the, the, the right care, the right medication, having access to, 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 to the resources that are critical to... Uh, to, to deal with issues of mental health and addiction. So, um, you know, we wanted to come here to, you know, use our currency of celebrity to try and raise awareness and to try and raise funds to help provide some of these services in the community here in, this, uh, in Canada, where it's, it's, it's a, obviously a big problem in the United States, but it also, in per capita, is a, is a serious problem here as well. And Shauna, you have struggled with mental health issues. Was it difficult for you to come forward and, and talk about that? No, not at all. I'm very open about the fact that I struggled, especially as an adolescent with mental health. And it was something that I struggled with for many years. And I sought the help that I needed and was able to recover. But uh, there's a lot of people out there who don't realize that there are tremendous resources and that there are probably more people out there who actually love and care about you than you realize and how important it is to reach out. And Billy, what about the stigma that still exists? How do you think that lending your voice and your wife's voice to this cause might help remove that stigma? What needs to be done? Well, I, I think we've come a long way with the stigma. I think that one of the problems is people don't recognize what mental health problems are, what mental health issues are, even with addiction. People think that it's heroin or cocaine or crack when the bigger problem in this country is uh, prescription drugs. They also think that it's with mental health issues, it's, uh, you know, it's bipolar disorder or it's schizophrenia. The reality is more people in this country and in the United States are suffering from anxiety disorders. A much higher percentage are suffering from anxiety disorders. And it's, it's making sure that people feel comfortable. It's making sure that people are aware of what's going on in their life. And of course, the most important part is making sure the resources and the care is, is available to them through their healthcare provider. And if not, trying to find another way to, to, to get them the help that they need. Yeah. yeah, and speaking of resources, China, I'll put this to you. How do investments like the multi-million dollar renovation of the Waterstone Clinic benefit people and their, fa their patients and their families? What are you observing? Well, for them just to have a place to go with trained professionals who deal with this day in and day out, 24-7, is a huge asset. I think that once they walk in the doors, they're going to see that it's a loving, nurturing, supportive uh, environment where they'll be able to get the mental health um, uh, help that they need because, quite frankly, you know, when you have trained professionals around you who can give you the help that you need psychologically, emotionally, uh, physically even, you just can't put a price tag on that. People need a place where they can go where they know that they're in safe hands. And it's obviously a beautiful facility, <laughs> um, you know, aesthetically. Just looking around, I feel like I'm in the forest. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely it's gorgeous. gorgeous. Um, so, yeah. yeah another, another thing that's important, too, is that healthcare touches upon many, many other problems in our society with crime, with homelessness, with addiction. So, healthcare is like the tip of the spear that's addressing all sorts of other issues that affect the economy, they affect productivity, they affect, like I said, addiction issues, crime issues. So, it's really important in America, they started to, we used to have really great healthcare in, in the healthcare system. And back in the 80s, they started cutting all of those programs, and we are really su suffering 
as a result of that. So people are more aware, people are more willing to talk about it, people are more comfortable about it, they wear it on their sleeves. Today, all of my friends look at their other friends and are like, you're not in therapy? What's wrong with you? you know? <laughs> and uh, people are much more comfortable uh, discussing these issues, but they're not, uh, but the, the services aren't there. So to have a facility like this made available to people in the region uh, that need the help, it's it's really important that we keep fighting for that. And we have to get uh, on, the, on, the, on the governmental level, especially on the federal governmental level, we have to get a lot more money uh, back in the healthcare system that are dealing with this because it's not going to cost us money, it's going to save us money. If you're dealing with addiction, if you're dealing with crime, if you're dealing with homelessness, you're going to wind up, if you, for every dollar you spend, if you spend a billion dollars, it's going to wind up saving you $5 billion down the road, keeping people happy, keeping people healthy, keeping them productive. Well, thanks for the time and attention both of you are giving to this important issue. Chana Phillips, Billy Baldwin, appreciate you speaking with us today. Good luck with the dinner.